Good morning, evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at it again with another video. My name is Digital CJ. We're continuing on Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Looks like we're in the Stone Age. Now, further ado, we have to do good some good old recon. Oh, yeah. Bad news just got worse, Sly. Looks like a couple of pieces of the time drive broke off in that crash landing. I need you to track down the missing components ASAP. Fortunately, the advanced trajectory management processor is still functional, so I was able to calculate their most likely positions. Unfortunately, they seem to have landed in some dangerous terrain. The temporal sprocket appears to have fallen close to some pterodactyl nests, and I'm afraid one of these prehistoric penguins might have gotten its flippers on the gravity encabulator. Oh, they may look cute, but those little devils are nasty. This isn't gonna be a simple pickup slide. Get some photos of their precise locations, and I'll analyze them to formulate a plan. But watch your back. I don't think we're the first guests at this party. See the structure on that mountain? It appears to be some kind of conveyor belt system. Definitely not Ice Age technology. Get a picture of that machinery, too. I smell a rat. Or possibly something even worse. Bentley, uh, have you heard anything from Carmelita? Sorry, Sly. I think maybe she just needs to cool off. For what it's worth, I'm just as worried about Penelope. I know, pal. And we're gonna get her back. I promise. Very nice, Sly. Getting a shot of that pterodactyl took some skill. Yeah. Uh, let's come back when I don't look so appetizing. Oh, yeah. I see Zeus. Perfecto, Sly! I'll find a way to pry the encabulator out of their dastardly beast. I don't know, Bentley. These little guys don't look so bad to me. <laughs> There we go. Okay, that conveyor belt does not belong here. The question is, what is it being used for? Sly, I'm picking something up. Look for a building that resembles an arena, and let's take a closer look. My thermal vision is picking up a lot of activity there. You got it, pal. Darn saber tooth. Who this guy? A masterpiece for you. Yeah. The Grizz. Fly, get a shot of that guy, and maybe we could identify him. Come on, turn around for me. That's better. Okay, no way this guy dug that bling up around here. Now, you're absolutely right, Sly. He definitely doesn't belong here. This whole place demands an investigation. Let's start by figuring out who we're dealing with here. Good job, Sly. Now head back to the hideout. We need to figure out what 
that bear is up to. That crack in the wall looks like the perfect entrance. But you'd better keep a low profile until we know what's going on. I hear you, pal. Discreet. We can handle that. Still no word from Carmelita? No worry, Sly. I'm sure we'll hear from her soon. I know. I heard when Joe messed up. The boss turned him into a coat for that Le Paradox guy. Yeah, that Ugh. Le Paradox is bad news. I heard last time he was here, he yanked this one guy's tusks just for fun. Ouch. Yeah, good luck talking to the ladies without any tusks. Watch yourself, Fly, and don't alert the guards. I hear you, pal. Darn it. I knew I've messed up when I uh, hit the ground. Watch yourself, Fly, and don't alert the guards. I hear you, pal. There we has it. I'm not that poor guy. What's weird is that he looks kind of familiar. Wait! Holy missing links! Fly! That's a prehistoric raccoon! I wonder if he could be... My ancestor? It's a distinct possibility! Let's help him out! Sly, I have an idea! But you need to get that saber-toothed tiger skin! Just don't let the guards see you! I'm on it, Bentley. One tiger skin coming up. <clears throat> well, look who's at the party. Why am I not surprised he's part of this? That caveman's club! Doesn't it look almost like a... Kane? Sly, you need to hurry! I think you might want to use a paraglider here, Sly. Got that covered. This guy's painting is not improving my opinion of him. Forget about the art. See that key? I bet it unlocks that door. Right. Time for some real art. The art of pickpocketing. Oh, yeah. Van Gogh ain't got nothing on me. Come on now. Hold that big fool still. You got the key. Go grab that tiger skin, Sly! Excellent, Sly! Now get that tiger skin!
Another egotistical maniac. Not really my color, but I'll make it work. Way to go, Sly! Now get going! Outstanding, Sly! That saber-toothed skin is just what we need! If I know my biomechanics, and I do, then I believe those claws will give you extra traction! I'll try using a leap to cross that gap. Press and hold the R2 button to target that post. Then press the X button to leap to the target. Bada bing, bada ching. Timing is everything. One. Oh, that's got a sting. One more. Why, this is amazing! I've run comparison tests, facial features, fur legs, tail volume, and according to them all, that cave raccoon is definitely your ancestor! I believe you found the very first Cooper! I'm not sure I see the resemblance, but I'll take your word for it, Bentley. Hey, big guy, what do you say? We get out of here. Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, 
it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Right. How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Um, okay, I guess we'll do it your way. We got Bob safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called paleo graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts, and that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape, fast. <laughs> well, with all that uh, complicates things for a bit, maybe. Anyway. That's my time. If you like this series, hit the like button. If you want more Sly Cooper action, hit the subscribe and don't forget about the bell for notifications. Also, I would like to thank you. My name is Digital CJ and I'll see you in the next video. I'm signing out.